most of us are short of breath. We never really empty our lungs. But to make a long, complete outbreath, you mustn't force it. Imagine there's a large ball of lead inside your neck and allow it to fall slowly through your body to the floor, pushing and easing the breath out as it drops. Ease the breath out just as you settle and sink down comfortably into a bed. And when the ball reaches the floor, let it drop away as if to the center of the earth. Then let the breath come back, back in, as a reflex, without pulling it. And then imagine another ball of lead in the neck. And again, let it fall out, long and easy. And once again. Now, do you see what's happening? You are generating a great deal of energy without trying or forcing. Two things seem to be happening at once. First, the outflow of breath is simply falling, happening all by itself. Second, it's under perfect control. So from this practice, you learn to experience, to realize that what happens to you and what you do are one and the same process. There is no real separation between one thing called you and another quite different thing called the universe. When you stop talking and naming, they're quite obviously one. So again, let your breath fall easily out. All the way. Let it come back on its own and then out again. Let's put the sound R ah, on the next outflow.
And again, so that you have nothing in mind but... And Hindus use this melodious and now familiar chant. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna.